Hello there, today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, if you've used Pinterest before, you'll know that it's full of some great ideas, some great tips, some great hacks. But you'll also know that sometimes their hacks and tips are not necessarily any good and they're very terrible ideas and I took it upon myself to go to Pinterest and find some art hacks that people had, had suggested and pinned on there um, and I'm pretty sure a majority of them, of them are not going to work but I'm going to try them anyway because I'm curious so I bought some supplies based on what these hacks tell me to do and we're going to test them together so here we go. This first one is make your own paint. You need one cup of salt, one cup of flour, one cup of water, and food coloring. I don't really understand why you need a whole cup of salt. That is a lot of salt. That is a lot of salt. Nearly done. Okay, so we need a whole cup of salt. This is painful. That's basically a cup of salt. I'm gonna stick it in here. Next we need a cup of flour. Okay, there we go. Right, so I need a cup of water, so I'm gonna go get some water. Just spill water on the electrics, that's not a good thing to do. The texture is, is, is... Right, now we have a very glue-like consistency. I'm gonna add some food coloring. It doesn't say how much to use, but I can't really see how this is gonna sort of mix up well but I could be wrong right I am done mixing and this is what I've got um it's far too thick of a consistency right here we go are you ready it's almost like I've taken like a like an exfoliator for your skin and just thrown it at the paper that's what it looks like and that's the consistency of it. Like if you want a decent bath scrub, give this, give, give this a go. Okay, the next hack. Need a quick palette for painting or a kid's playtime? Use a large plastic lid and glue some bottle caps on top. Cut out one hole for the thumb. Got a nice um, ice cream lid thing here and I need to make a hole for my thumb. I've made the hole too big. I mean, really, I bought myself a glue gun yesterday for this particular hack. And I I have, I had a glue gun many years ago, but I lost it. See, the problem with this is most bottle caps nowadays are incredibly thin because they're trying to save plastic, which is great. But really how much paint is that actually going to hold so once you have your plastic lid with an extortionately large hole for your thumb on it i'm going to glue these i'm going to glue these down maybe i should make crafting time with chloe a thing on my channel because i'm not very good at crafts to be honest okay my plastic lids are on there I mean, let's, let's say, for example, that you go on holiday, okay? Um, you forget, oh, crap, I forgot my, forgot my palette. Oh, but I remembered my glue gun, my glue refills, and a plastic ice cream lid. Okay, this one I'm actually genuinely interested to try. It says, have a bunch of crusty old paintbrushes, toss them in a bowl of vinegar for 30 minutes, they will be good as new. So I've got my glass, I've got my vinegar, I'm going to stick some of this in there. Okay, these are all my dried up paintbrushes that I was stupid enough to forget to wash out. Uh, so yes, let's, let's give this a go and we'll leave that for half an hour and then we'll come back to that. I mean, to be honest, every time I pick up my paintbrushes now, they're going to stink of vinegar, aren't they? So I'm just going to be like, oh, fancy some fish and chips. 
but I don't really like fish and chips. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes now, because I'm an impatient person. Uh, but my paint brushes actually seem to be getting more flexible. They're like new. They're literally, look, I can bend it. It's got paint on it and I can bend it. Okay, this is one I've seen and heard of a couple of times and I think it will work because magic erasers are amazing. Basically, they say that you can use a magic eraser to get rid of any sort of watercolour mistakes that you make and yeah, I mean magic erasers are literally magic so I think this will work. Um, I'm going to use some orange now and I'm just going to stick a bit on the paper and then I'll let that dry and see what happens. Okay, so now let's give it a go. Oh, look, it's actually working. It's actually working. I mean, it's working better than I thought it would actually. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's not perfect because now I've got the orange there, but that, I am impressed. I am impressed. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I actually really enjoyed myself, so I might make this again. If you come across any art hacks on Pinterest you want me to give a go, send them my way and I definitely will. Moral of the story, don't make your own paint. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.